Hello again everyone, this is Joe Hinches with Beyond the Chart, uh, your source for exceptional video analysis of stocks, ETFs, and indices. This is a uh, stock chart analysis update on Yandex. We're going to do a short here analysis of this. I was scanning back through some of my stocks and this uh, caught my eye. This looks interesting. So uh, let's take a look. Okay, the so Yandex was up 0.48 yesterday. So nice percentage move, closed to 15.33. This is a daily chart through the close of yesterday. By the way, today is Tuesday, July 14th, about 10:30 and 10:15 in the morning Central Time. And I'm going to take we'll take a look at a uh, current trading here in just a minute. But a couple of things. Uh, let me step back and just so you get a bigger picture on Yandex. This really looked like a big topping out uh, type move. Let me show all the trading because this hasn't been, yeah, it, it went public back in May 2011. So just a little, well, a little over four years ago. It, this looked like a big topping uh, move to me, but it may be too big to be uh, a, uh, what, what I'd call a, uh, consolidation head and shoulders type thing you know it's uh, it, and it's not at the high of the move you know kind of for head and shoulders kind of like here's a small head and shoulders right here I mean that is clearly a, a, a definite topping motion right here or pattern right here uh, and so really we've got a trend line break initially I was thinking well maybe this measurement here would project down but it may not be the case it may not it may be too big of a move for it to go uh, one thing that happened, I know on a weekly basis and looking at this on a weekly chart, there was significant divergence between here and here and this move. And therefore, we got this big rally uh, came up off of here. Now, the thing that I'm noticing right now is that this low here on mm, July 7th, so just a week ago today, uh, came almost exactly to the low that occurred on March 11th. Okay, and now we've come up off of it. And so I think, you know, a low risk entry literally could be right at where it closed yesterday. Uh, and we could be getting ready to make a turn and, and move up. Now, I would keep a stop at, say, any close below the previous two day low in here. So if you were to, you know, enter today, and get a stop below the low of the previous two days, which would have been yesterday's low. That would have been the lowest low of those two days. So you can stop below 14.74, then just exit. You know, just don't play around uh, would be my suggestion. And uh, a more aggressive stop would be, you know, looking at a stop uh, below this low right here. Okay, but... I would uh, suggest a stop below on a close below the previous two day low. And you could just, you know, use that and ride it up here. You notice how if you would have got in uh, anywhere in here, you didn't get a close below a two day low, a close below until this day right here. OK, close below the low the previous two days. So you would have stayed in for this whole move. So, you know, it could be interesting that we get to, you know, get a move like that. Now, I understand that. You know, this is a 10-day exponential moving average. This is a 21-day simple. This is a 55-day simple. And this is a 233-day. I use Fibonacci numbers for my, um, uh, the three simple moving averages. The 10 is like my trigger line, okay? So the moving averages are all aligned negatively, but we are getting some good divergence on the demand index. Uh, DI minus did not go to a lower low on this last move and on the RSI we're getting bullish divergence. So I think it's worth a shot that it could be turning here and could be trying to rally. And again, what I would do is make sure you have a stop uh, that'll take you out if it starts to fail. So that's my thought on this for today on Yandex. And uh, again, I'm not trading options on this because the, the price is a little too low for me in terms of getting a percentage move, but it might be a good play if you're uh, wanting to trade it uh, just for taking a position with the stock. So let me pull in uh, a chart on this. So here is 
Let's see if I got this right. Okay, so here is the action today. And right now, uh, through, to, uh, through what, it's 1021 a.m. Central Time. You know, you can see it's just up two cents at the moment. So uh, it might be a decent uh, shot, a decent play. So that's my uh, thought on Yandex. We'll see if it starts to uh, make a run back up to the high side. So, all right, hope you found this helpful. It's been Joe for Beyond the Chart. Uh, and uh, if you're not on my website, head on over to the website and check it out. And uh, trade ideas, uh, first name and email, and you'll be good to go, and you'll get access to trade ideas and a free PDF I've got for you, which is a peek inside my toolbox. All right, uh, everyone have a great rest of the day. Talk to you soon.